Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. Today, okay. The audio is coming through. Hello. Hello, Wendy, Paulina. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Today, we're going to extend yesterday's activity. We're going to do something both similar and different than what we did yesterday. We're going to begin thinking and talking about the term wisdom. And uh, we'll wait just uh, maybe a half a minute more before we get into it. Good afternoon, Nigeli. Hello. Welcome. Today, we're going to be breaking out or setting up uh, breakout rooms for, for this activity. You should be able to see my screen. I want to introduce the instructions for today's activity. There are a couple of several steps involved, so I think it would be easier for me to show you basically where you can access this information. But today we're going to be talking about wisdom. And we're going to, like I mentioned, we're going to be doing some parts of today's activity. They're going to be very similar to what we did yesterday with the topic of love. Now, if you're looking at the virtual classroom, if you scroll down underneath activities, there's one that's called what is wisdom. Okay, this is going to be our, our, our activities today. Basically, these are the instructions. I'll show you here in a minute where we're going to be working the, the uh, Word document that we're going to be working with. But today I'd like for you to work in teams and I'm going to separate, I'm going to break out uh, the breakout rooms here in a minute. I will assign those uh, here today. But basically what we're going to do is I'd like for you to watch this video. It's about six or seven minutes long. It's not very long, but it talks about wisdom. And specifically it talks about answering the question, which perspective should you have? Okay, it's all about perspective, but it really addresses how to think about this question, which perspective should you have in terms of wisdom. The video separates the idea of wisdom and answering this question into seven different points. Today, we're going to separate or divide into seven different teams, and each team will choose, will have rather, Will, uh, will address one of these points. So breakout room number one is going to focus on radical open, open-mindedness. Breakout room num uh, number two is going to address feed yourself ideas. Breakout room number three and so on. We'll, be able, we'll focus on being able to hold contradictions in your mind. So I want you to take a look at the entire video because it talks about all these points and how they relate with each other. But I want you to specifically focus on your respective point, depending on which breakout room or which team you're going to be a member of. And again, I will separate, I'll create those teams here in just a few minutes. So the first step is to watch the video. In fact, what I'll do is uh, just to, Make it a little easier. Let me, see the wood, let me see if I can. But here's a fun fact. There is no single right way to see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and share also the video. You can access it, of course, through the virtual classroom. But I will also include it here in the chat. Okay. Now. Now, the, uh, once you break into your breakout rooms, when you go into your teams, I'd like for you to go to the shared Word Online document. If you go into Microsoft Teams under Files, and you go into week 14, you should find a Word document called wisdom, right? So it should be just above the document we worked on yesterday. Today, we're going to go into the Word document called wisdom.
And we're gonna scroll down, in fact, and then I'm gonna click edit. I actually have this document open already, I think. No, I don't, thought I did. So let's open it up here into the browser. Makes it, makes it a little easier to see. Now the instructions here are the same as the instructions that are in the virtual classroom, okay? There are several aspects of today's activity. Please pay close attention to the activities for the task, all right? Uh, like yesterday, you were given a lot of different uh, parts of the instructions and they were all included in the written instructions as well as what was discussed. So make sure that you follow very closely the instructions for this activity. So if you go down towards the bottom, you'll notice that under Prop AB, we have the same seven points that were listed in the virtual classroom. Okay, again, these points are coming from the video that you need to watch first. Now here, each of you, again, if you're in team four, you're gonna focus on empathy. I would like for you to create a sentence stem for your respective point. Right, so if you're uh, based on, we've got about, looks like only nine of us so far, maybe eight of us so far at, in today's live discussion. Depending on how many of us are gonna participate today, you may have only one of you in each of these points, okay? So you're either gonna have uh, work by yourself or you might have one other teammate uh, in your respective point. So again, it's gonna depend on how many uh, participants we have today. Looks like we have about nine so far. So again, uh, most of us are going to be working individually. But in your respective point or under your section, you're going to create a, a sentence stem. Now from the sentence stem, again, again the sentence stem can, is, going, is going to relate to the point, right? So anything that was mentioned in the video, you can use that and coming up with uh, an idea for a sentence stem. Once you have the stem, then you're going to create three versions of the sentence stem using the three connectors that we worked with yesterday. So, but, and because. We'll go to the very top here with the instructions. So, but, and because. Again, we want to, uh, we want to relate our sentence stem to show a consequence, maybe a reason, maybe showing a contrasting idea. We want to use these three connectors, right, to expand our idea, to expand our sentence connectors, our, our sentence stem. When you conclude your sentence, of course, write your name in parentheses after each sentence. And also make sure that you have a level four heading. If you look at some of the examples from this morning's class, the easiest way to do that is to create the sentence stem, select the text, and select styles heading four. Styles heading four. And if you have your text selected, then it will change automatically there, and it should look something like this example. So you're going to have your point, you're gonna have your name or the list of your names, depending on how many members in your team. You'll have the level four heading that includes the sentence stem, and you'll include the three that are numbered, right? And just use, all you have to do is select the text and select the numbering icon up here as a, as a point, as a, as a bullet point, and make sure again your name is at the end of each sentence that you create. All right, so before we go into our breakout rooms, are there any questions about today's activity? Hey Ben, I just arrived. Uh, can you repeat the activity please? All right, so going back to the virtual classroom. All right, all the instructions are included here. This is under week 14. If you go under activities, you can select this page where you'll find the video that you're gonna look at today and then the instructions. 
The instruct the video relates to the question, what is wisdom? Okay, I'm showing you here. This is the link to the, the page. The video relates to the question, what is wisdom? Specifically, it, it addresses the question, which perspective should you have? This whole video is about us learning about perspective, about maybe accepting and, and being open to other perspectives as a way to gain wisdom. And so this video talks about seven specific points that relate to this question, which, uh, which perspective should you have? Today, we're going to separate, we're going to divide up into to teams, seven different teams. And uh, based on the number of participants, again, it's going to be anywhere from one to two participants, right? If you end up only having just one you know, yourself as, as the team, then there's not much to talk about, obviously, in the breakout room. You can just go right into the activity, decide for yourself which sentence stem you want. If you're working with a member, right, discuss it and determine which sentence stem that you want to include for your respective point. Again, you're only going to include your sentences that relate to your specific point, one of these seven. Right, so again, team one is going to look at the first point, radical open, open-mindedness, right, and so on. So once you have uh, created a sentence stem, this is, again, just like what we did yesterday, it's going to be the first part of the sentence, okay? It's going to include a subject and probably some predicate, right, but it's not the whole sentence. It's going to be a relatively short sentence stem. Using that sentence stem, then we're going to basically include three versions of that sentence stem using the three different connectors that we talked about and used yesterday. So, but, and because. So just like yesterday, we're going to be working in a shared Word online document. This is the document that I have up here. You can access this document in Microsoft Teams under week 14. The file is called Wisdom. So here you'll scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says Prope B. Right now there's nothing. We're starting from scratch with you guys, with this group. So you'll go into your respective section and begin drafting your sentence stem and your three versions of your sentence stems using each of the three connectors. So, but, and because. Just check your formatting, compare what, I, what they have here. Look again at the instructions that I've included here as well. Read them for yourself. It's basically what I'm ba explaining now in this live session. But just like yesterday, you were asked to include a level four heading. Again, select the text, select the style, level four heading. This will be your sentence stem. And then below, you'll have three versions of your sentence stem, but using the three different connectors. So, but, and because. Make sure, finally, that you have included your name in parentheses after each sentence. If you wrote all three, include your name after all three. If you're working with someone else, then just include the name that, uh, after the sentence that you developed. Okay, this is what I would like for us to work on today. and. Are there any other questions about today's activity? All right, I'm going to now create For seven each. rooms. Oh, sorry, go ahead. So we have to do one sentence for each of the connectors, but once per person or I mean, I have to do it three sentences or just, or if I'm working with someone, just two of them. Right. So it depends on how many members in your team. If you're working by yourself, you're going to create three sentences. If you're working with someone else, then you determine who's going to do each, which sentence. One of you will do two probably and, and the other We'll do one. I mean, if you really want to work together on one sentence and put both of your names, certainly that's fine also. But it's not three sentences per person when you have more than, 
more than one member. So, you know, um, it's just three sentences per per point per section. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and create seven rooms. Again, if you're working by yourself, then obviously there's not not much uh, there's no reason really to go into the to, to the room, but you certainly can. Um, this is more just to determine who, who's going to do which section. All right, so I've created seven rooms and I will just go ahead and recite who's in each room. Room one, Paulina and Wendy. Room two, Andy and Nigeli. Room three, Caro. Room four, Liz and Monse. Room five, Angel and Paolo. Room six, Marifer. And room seven, Oscar. These were just randomly generated rooms. For now, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. If you guys have questions or have problems getting into your rooms with your partners, uh, let me know. If you're working by yourself, then again, you can decide whether or not you want to go into the breakout room or not. Go ahead and access the shared online Word document, watch the video, and uh, continue with the task. All right, I'll mute my mic. Again, jump in anytime if you guys have questions. Uh, Paulina, were you assigned a breakout room? I see that you're unassigned right now, but I wasn't. Sh I don't remember if uh, if you were in one of the the groups. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. What you say? Can you repeat me? Yes. Um, are you in a group? Do you know which which group you're in? Oh yes, I am with Wendy. Ah, okay. Okay. Great. All right, guys, I think we're uh, getting close to finishing up for today. Um, please make sure that you check at the very top of the document that you're working in today and make sure that you take another look at the instructions. And I also included a list of words and phrases to avoid. So take a look at that list of words and phrases to avoid and uh, try for tomorrow to have your sentences completed. Tomorrow will be our last activity uh, for this week related to love and wisdom. Tomorrow we're going to continue what we built on for the rest of this week or, or throughout this week. And tomorrow we're going to try to bring everything together. All right, so for tomorrow, try to have your three sentences completed. And does anyone have any questions about uh, the activity? Any questions about today's activity? All right, well, if there are no more uh, questions, then we'll go ahead and finish for today. And uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow afternoon. And uh, again, we'll finish uh, the topics of love and wisdom. Thanks guys, have a good uh, remaining remainder of the day. <laughs> see you okay. later. You Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.